there in a second. I I still don't know how you do that. No, it's not that hard. I mean, a couple algorithms, some basic math, any idiot can do it. Could have just handed it to me. Let's go, Q-Tip. I almost got it. Q. Done. Ben. One, seven, three, six. Babe, come and get me. And try not to get another speed ticket. No promises. Pete, do you want to ride with us? No thanks, Gene. Let's move. Got him, Q? Yep, he's on orchard. Guys, we have a problem. My car's been made, I need a ride. Where are you? We're on our way up. We don't have time for this. Turn around, Jane. Get your ass over here. If we don't get out of here, they're going to paint us off. He's going to make it. Gene, go. I said drive. He's going to make it. Drive. Jane, drive. Power lines are down. Helen, I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? Well, two people are dead already on account of that guy. Take a look out that window, click it.
you're disgusting! You're welcome. What'd you go for a jog this morning? End up scaring a neighborhood kid and remember, oh yeah, I'm on house arrest. Want some Joe? So I'm out of creamer. This weird thing happens every time I try to go get more. I hear a beeping noise and the neighbor starts staring at me. Peter, you know, if the judge gets wind of this, you're gonna be locked in here like Rapunzel in the tower. You really wanna be stuck here? So black is fine? Not even listening to me, are you? Do you at least have any stevia? Stevia? That natural crap? Yeah, stevia. No, Jim. I do not have any stevia. Okay, it's sugar. Straight. Peter, if you're gonna be stuck in here 25-7, the least you can do is make it smell nicer. Well, I'm sorry, Jim. My current financial situation doesn't allow me to have a band full of cleaning senioritas over every single week. Well, you're lucky to have any money at this point. Just do me a favor. Don't take off down the street again, okay? What was I supposed to do? Like, the little old ladies in this neighborhood can't tell the difference between a kid and a speed bump. They can't even see over their own steering wheels. Now, listen, the kid probably deserved it anyway. I saw him kill a squirrel the other day. You know, he's gonna grow up to be a serial killer, and then I'm gonna have to deal with him. You know, actually speaking of, I've seen your car out here a lot lately. You and always come to see me. Oh, well, it's part of the job. I've got to check with the neighbors, make sure there's no complaints about you. Call this coffee? Well, Jim, I would ask you to stay for lunch, but I am sure that you have plenty of other wayward souls to visit before your long day is through. No, well, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I've got promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Miles to go before I sleep. A parole officer and a poet. Who knew? <laughs> well, I did graduate college, and look how far that got me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't go to college. Look at me. <laughs> Just stay out of trouble, all right? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Wakey, wakey, sleeping, filthy. <laughs> Relax, princess. It's not loaded. Yo, what the hell, Rich? Is it? Feel like a soccer mom with you two. Do I have to send you to timeout? You started it. Can you guys set up the table? Please. Look, Rich, I know that you have issues, okay, deep psychological issues that probably weren't years of therapy, but why don't you do me a favor and not come into my house and put a gun in my face? Peter, this isn't, this isn't jail, this is a holiday. You know, you'd be getting your ass realigned by the Aryan Brotherhood if it wasn't for my lawyers. You got made out, I don't want you shit. I'm just lucky the gun wasn't loaded. It's not funny. Still can't take a joke. That's very unhealthy. The wasted of all days is a day without laughter. You know E.E. E. Cummings? Of course, I'm literate. I think I'm stupid. Uh, yes, Rich. Where is it that you came about E.E. Cummings? Was it the library or the book club? Shut up. Oh, what do you think you missed spell at first? Was it E.E. -E or... Didn't I just tell you to shut up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, really? What is this, the 70s? Take it outside.
So are you starting a cooking channel now? Uh-huh. So, tell me, how are things at home with the psycho husband? Just because you see something on the outside doesn't mean it's like that all the time, Peter. Okay, sorry, bad joke. I know he's rough around the edges, but he has his moments. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I heard that. So, yesterday, I was thinking about that one time, freshman year, when uh, you turned the school swimming pool into jello. <laughs> yeah, that went over real well. Yep. Yep, it actually just turned the entire pool red. <laughs> And then someone called the police because they didn't know what it was. You must have forgotten that Jello has to go into the fridge, genius. Well, look, the only reason that I ended up getting caught was because I looked like Hannibal Lecter had just stumbled into a blood bank. The real question is, why were you dyed completely red? Well, what was I supposed to do, Jane? Just not do a backflip into 50,000 gallons of red sugar water? Yes. So Peter, check this out. The guy pays me back in gift cards. <laughs> gift cards, like, like Visa or those, those prepaid things? No, um, well, yogurt world. <laughs> what good is that to me? I mean, how much of my ass in gift cards? <laughs> Plus your lactose intolerant. <laughs> Huh. Well, Rich was threatening to break the guy's legs, but I convinced him to just pay us with half of the art collection. You should have seen the guy's study, Pete. Paintings all the way to the ceiling. Yeah, some old dude named um, Fang Leadgun. I mean, his paintings weren't worth my pocket change, but she looked them up on eBay. Well, it's pronounced Fang Lee Jun. But I have some pictures on my phone if you want to see. Sure. And uh, I've actually started drawing and painting, you know. They're not great, but... I like it. And I painted one for Rich the other day. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really good. I'm serious. That's actually really good. You know, I actually, I was thinking about taking up some painting myself. Yeah, I gotta do something, right? You know what they say, idle hands are the devil's playground. <laughs> Uh, have you seen Q lately? I miss that guy. You guys don't talk anymore? Well, Rich, we had to do something that Jane. he- Jane, Jane, stop talking about that. It doesn't concern me. Well, I didn't really say anything, babe. Let's go. I wanna go. Okay. Can I finish eating first? No. Well, I wanna go home. Rich, come on, let her finish her dinner. Peter! Talking to my wife. Jane, I'm tired. I've had a long day. I want to go home. Please. Okay. hands. Speaking of which, Peter. Pete, can you do me a favor? Can you go over there and get us some doggy bags? Or do you think that might be the work of the devil? You know what I would, Rich, but this isn't Applebee's. Yeah, you're right. Applebee's has a health code. Just get it yourself. Great idea. Because if I don't do it, it won't get done, will it? All right. Fine. Peter. Nice shirt. Oh, uh, doll. Idle hands. <laughs> Peter. 
Guess who's here? That's right. It's your friendly neighborhood pizza man. Here to switch out your empty boxes. You know, I think we might have enough here to make a fort later. Here for it. We can even make a You. Don't you know that you are never supposed to interrupt a man mid -point? Yeah, uh, I'm not much of a golf man myself, but I'm pretty sure that only counts for real golf. Not this uh, DIY version of random trash Olympics you got going on here. You know, I don't really know why everybody seems to have such a problem with how dirty my place is. It, it's dirt, okay? It's natural. It's organic. What do you mean everybody? Did you have a party here last night and not invite me? Now, actually, Jane and Rich came over for dinner. Ah, glad I missed that. Yeah, Rich went full douchebag. You know, eventually that rabid dog is gonna break off his leash. Before I left, they were gonna rip off a children's hospital. Did they? I don't think so. I think Jane talked him out of it. You know, I'm worried about her. I bet he hits her. Q. What? I bet he does. I mean, she's tougher than she looks, but he's a big dude. We both know about his temper. Yeah, okay, but what makes you think he actually hits her? Okay, well, maybe he doesn't actually hit her. But even if he did, he's not dumb enough to leave any marks. You know, like he wouldn't hit her in the face or anything where people could see him. You want a beer? Yes, I do. Dude, are you serious? Dude, I have a parole officer. Okay. So? So he probably has cameras all over the place or yeah. something. Yeah, I'm not sure that's how it works. Do you at least have grape? <laughs> no, sorry. Oh Deal. It's better than beer anyways. Okay. <clears throat> what the hell is that? <laughs> that is a mini crossbow. What? That is what you end up getting when you are stuck in the house 24 hours a day. Is this fast? Like, could this kill something? <laughs> could it kill something? Yeah. You could shoot a bear in the face and it would go straight down. What? Mm -hmm. Give me an arrow. Um, you know, actually I shot like three holes in my wall just yesterday, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. <sighs> Fine, where'd you get it? Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Got a little something for you. Mm -hmm. Damn. 38? Yes. 39. Yes. Yes. They're, Thank you. They're crazy good. Yes. Oh, what do I owe you? Oh, for, for pizza and comics? What did you got? Speaking of, what, what is with the off limits area? What's, what's going on with that? <laughs> no way. Dude, you can't even get to your own backyard. That's hilarious. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> oh, so did you get a chance to think about what I said? Oh, okay, yeah. I, I read the text at like four in the morning. It was something about like, uh, we put our money together. Yeah, 50, 50 Yeah, we put it into a building you showed me downtown. Yes. And we, uh, oh, what was it? oh we, we buy a truckload of comics and open our own comic shop. Exactly. And we call it Barnes and Comics. Barnes and Comics? Really? Yeah. That is such a bad name. That's a, that's a bad, not a that's bad a, name. That is a bad name. It is a good name. That is not a good name. It worked for a huge, like, multinational book company. It's not like, called Barnes and Comics. <laughs> well, no, because Barnes and the other was already taken. So I had to change it a little bit. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. We'll work on the name. Yeah, fine. We'll but, the, okay, but the important it. thing is, is that this is going to be a different kind of comic book store. Okay. okay? Yeah, it's going to be... It's gonna be unique in the fact that you're, okay, you know how you buy tons of comic books, right? Yes. And then just stacking up in your basement and being useless and piles and piles and piles of comic books. I would argue useless, but go on. <sighs> anyway, there's gonna be something different about our comic book store. Okay. There's gonna be a space in our store 
that is specifically designated to people just coming in, hanging out, and reading comics. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Yeah. I like it. Right. Okay, like right. It. Okay, yeah, like, okay, so right. you have beanbag chairs and couches and tables and, like, arcade games okay. and stuff like that. It, it'll be just freaking sweet. Okay, but you're talking about starting a business. How are we going to make money? Like, what's to stop people from coming in, reading the comic book for 15 minutes, and then leaving without buying it? <laughs> I mean, we got to have income to support the store. Not, not everything is about money, Q. It okay. kind of is in this instance. Well, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Donations. I don't, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Donations. Yeah. What, what it'll, business it'll is be, run on donations? It'll be fine. None. It'll zero businesses are run on donations. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Think outside the box, you. Okay. I'm thinking you need to think outside the box. You just gotta think about these things. Yeah. We need mm-hmm. money. Right. Bottom line. Anyway. Yes. I was actually even thinking about asking Jane if she could uh, design the logo. Just give us a look. Uh, okay. Pete, I'm saying this because I'm your friend but I think you should put some distance between you and Jane for a while. I mean, Rich is a certifiable maniac. He, he's dangerous. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I don't think he'll like you guys being so close. So? I mean, what, do you think I couldn't take him? <laughs> you? He would murder you. <laughs> He'd probably murder both of you. You know, I better do something weird with the bodies too. Like put your head on a mantle or use like Jane's skin to make a pillowcase. Oh, okay, okay, like thanks. That. No, I get it. That's okay. great, thanks. All, right. All I'm saying is you should be careful, because it's only a matter of time before Jane has an accident. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Just be careful. That's what I'm worried Sorry, I, I didn't know if I should come in. What's wrong? Rich. I think. Did he hurt? Did he hurt you? No. So, I finally did laundry this morning. Yeah. And I'm going to conquer the kitchen tomorrow. Maybe you could help me out. I mean, eventually I'm probably going to need something from outside my Fortress of Solitude. Fortress of Solitude. So, you're Superman? I mean, I'd actually probably say I'm more of a Batman type. You know, I don't need superpowers to rescue people. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, then what superhero am I? Um, 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 Robin. <laughs> what? Yeah. Robin? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? Stay right here.
So how does one go about getting one of those uh, fancy ankle bracelet things? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you just get to hang out here all day. You know, you don't have a lot to worry about. It's like you've got this protective bubble over your house. And it sounds pretty great to me. Well, believe me, I would switch places with you if I could. No, you wouldn't. If I was the one that got busted, I'd be living in my grandma's basement. Again. You know, not everybody has parents that are willing to clear out a rental so their convict kid can crash for a while. Yeah. What are you doing? Looking up the logistics of that Barnes and Beanbags or whatever you call it. Oh, oh, by the way, I came up with a way that we can make the money without donations. Okay, I'm listening. Ready? Ready? Mm-hmm. Memberships. Oh, my God. Yeah, talk later. Hey, guys, let me interrupt, but I have more of these in the car if you want to help. Uh, can, can you put that away? It's called vlogging. Yeah, I know what it's called. It's just annoying. Why are you guys out here? Uh, it's, it's been really hot. The AC's not working so well. I think I have to have the whole thing replaced. Well, one of Rich's guys fixes ACs. You want me to get his car? Which one? Jason something? Jason. I thought he was a locksmith. We have many day jobs. Uh, Come help. <laughs> I got it. So, Jane's here. Without Rich? Yeah, I know. I mean, she's been talking about leaving him, but, you know how that goes. She needs to be careful. I mean, Rich is crazy paranoid these days. And after what he did to you? Hey, okay, Q, last time, all right? What happened was my fault. I don't want to talk about it. Very sure. Let's go check out the house. There's something there. I heard a noise. All right, Vince, hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Good shot. Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire. Well, I gotta get going because I have to wake up very early tomorrow to take my mom to the chiropractor. So, Jane, can I get right home? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, unless Pete, you want to do the honors. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't mind getting a little high-speed car chase. Well, I actually don't mind at all. Can I take that option? No, you're going with me. Hey, listen, guys. Thanks for coming over and hanging out with me tonight. Yeah, no problem. See you later, Pete. Flush, you wanker. Whoa, yo, yo, hold up, hold up. You gotta have five hearts to have a flush, you think, Queens. Hey, hey. 
Trip seven, boys. <laughs> There's no skill in this game whatsoever, man. It's all luck. Man, stop complaining. It ain't all luck, my friend. All right, so you got all sevens in your wife. Yeah. What do you call that? It's not about the hand you dealt, it's about how you play the cards. Yeah? Yeah. How well he cheats. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is. Hey, guys. Hey. I, um, didn't know it was poker night. Neither did we. You want to buy in? Yeah, come join us. <laughs> uh, where's Rich? Hey, your chica's here. Right, can we talk inside for a second? Please? Let's go again. Sure, why not? I'm down. Can I talk to you for a second? Your own way. So are you. Why don't you cook something for the boys? I'm sure they're hungry. Why don't you tell me what this is really about? Where were you? I had to check up on an old friend. Someone I may have to send a message to. You promised me that you weren't gonna hurt anybody else. Well, that's just it. You can't trust anyone these days. Can you, Jane? I'll see what I can do about refreshments. Uh, hey, Jason, do you have a card for a friend of mine? Yeah, I got a few. Locksmith, massage therapist, handyman. What you need? Uh, you do ACs, right? Oh, I do it all, sweetheart. Slick. Keep your eyes on the cards, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that building on seven. Huh? Yeah. I, I can't exactly do a walkthrough right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, how, how much is the asking price? Uh, that is negotiable, though, right? Oh, uh, hey, can I call you back in just a little bit? Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. Uh, hi. I am actually not in the market for any cookies tonight. <laughs> oh, unless you have Thin Mints. Jane? What's up? You okay? Yeah, I just needed to get out of that house. Oh. Well, uh, I wish you'd have said something. I had you pick me something up. Like what? I have a whole list. You know, like honey buns, eggs, pretzels, oh, some Dunkin' Donuts. Enough. Whatever. I'll get what you need later. I just can't be in the same house as that man right now. Okay. Well, I... Just shut up. Give me something to drink and keep shutting up. I will do my best. Thanks. It's apple juice. <laughs> so what are you working on? Well, this, nothing, you know, just, just a shipping label to send Rich to Cuba. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm ordering some tranquilizer, too. In the morning, he's going to wake up with a very severe headache in the middle of a family of giraffes. Hmm. Well, make sure to put holes in the box. Maybe. Hey. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you don't, yeah, need, you don't <laughs> listen. Hey, okay, it's really, it's really nothing. It, it, it's nothing, okay? A building? It, yeah, no, it's, it's just a, it's just a thing. It's just, no, it's, it's, it's nice. What's yeah, it for? It's stupid. Don't, don't worry about it. It's just a. I want to know. <sighs> Tell me. It's stupid. It's. Don't worry about it. It's. I'm gonna. It's, oh. Tell me, or you lose your only portal to the outside world. You won't. Okay, 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 okay. I want to open a comic book store. A comic store? Yes. You know, own it, run it. Me and Q. I mean, it's, I know it sounds stupid, but I mean, you know I'm not good at working for other people. 
and I, I figured we could run it together, you and I. Actually, I was, I was even gonna ask you if you would design the logo for us. Me? Oh well, yeah. I mean, you're so good at painting and, and drawing and, and, you know, making something out of nothing. And then just putting it out there like you're just not afraid of anything. When you do that, you can do that. Not everybody can. can. Jane! I, I'm, I don't. R Rich, Rich, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I, I've tried, I can't. I can't live this life anymore. I can't. You know, Q says that you can get addicted to all that nasal spray stuff, so I think I'd rather steer clear of all these narcotics you're trying to put me on. Oh, you'll take the narcotics. You've registered at least a six on the Richter scale. Oh, God, it's so hot in here. It's because you're letting all the sunlight in. That just makes it worse. But the light is so beautiful in the morning. No, yeah. It's great. Did you call Jason yet? Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm gonna melt. We can only hope. Oh, uh, no camera, it's too early. So, what's on the itinerary for today? Well, I was thinking of taking a drive, maybe even playing a few rounds of golf. I'll have this Groupon for skydiving that I really should use. You know, no better time like the present, right? Okay, that's all very funny, but you should really try to do something more active. <gasps> Plant a garden. Or do something that keeps you busy. I keep plenty busy, all right? Yesterday, Q and I built a pillow fort. We went all the way across the living room. Yeah, we each had our own wing. You built a fort without me? So, figured out what you want to do about Rich? Oh, I have a plan. Tonight. Tonight? Do you want me to go with you? Okay, I forgot, but do you want me to send Q with you? Why? So that he can come back in a doggy bag? It's a little dramatic, don't you think? Well, Rich and I had a cat a few years ago, Rocky. Mm. I loved him, and of course, Rich hated him. Every time Rich would come in the room, the cat would run away and hiss. Yeah, Rich tends to have that effect on people. Well, one day we were having a huge fight like normal, and I stormed off, and when I came back, Rocky was dead. He tried to play it off that he had a heart attack because I was so upset. What did he do to it? Well, that's the thing. I went to the vet, and I tried to figure out what had happened, and they couldn't find anything. They said it was natural causes. Well, maybe it was. No. He just wanted to prove that he couldn't, that he could fool me. I don't know if he has some kind of PTSD or if he really is out of his mind sometimes. Well, maybe he shouldn't go then. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Pete. I mean, it'll be fine. This is the last time we'll ever have to worry about him again. Right. Okay? Okay. Okay. She tells him, you better be ready for what comes next. 
Dude, it's Jane, okay? She's always gonna be able to reel him in. If she says the time is right, I trust her. Whatever you say. Hi, Peter. Uh, yeah. You're Jason, right? Yeah, here to take a look at your cooling system. Right. Come on in. You the guy on house arrest, right? I prefer to think of it as a forced retirement. <laughs> Do what you got to be to pay the bills, man. Right. It's right here in the garage. Oh, this is cute. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we've met before. We did a job together a while back. Oh, yeah. You that computer guy. Uh, you still do that thing with the square? The square? What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, man, the square. You know, you... Oh, it's called the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, yeah, I can still do that. That's what I said, man, the cube, yeah. All right, Chevy, easy. All right. Dude, what are you doing? Trying to concentrate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, am I bothering you? Yeah. Whoa, watch the merchandise. Hey, Boston, you got a minute? Panther? Can we talk inside real quick? Oh. Yeah. Here. Alright, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. Good news is, it's an easy fix, and I can have you back down to a cool 70 degrees in no time. Yes. Yeah. But the bad news, it needs a new part, and I can't get it till tomorrow. <sighs> okay, well, James, I gotta be happy. I'll happy see you tomorrow. You're a square man, my best. See you tomorrow. Everything okay? Yep. The AC is going to be fixed. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. What, so you gotta beat somebody up for the parts he needs? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Around the time I left the team, he was the new guy. And they ripped off a veterinary clinic. Like an animal doctor? Yes, like an animal doctor. You'd be amazed how much that stuff goes for. They've got Valium, acepromazine, tranquilizers. Kind of stuff that'll put you into a coma. That people will pay for. It's by a man, I guess, right? Do what they want. Oh, I gotta wrap this up. I didn't realize what time it was. I gotta get my nap in before I go lift at the gym. <laughs> okay. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, I okay. like weights. I go to the gym and I lift weights. Like heavy weights? Heavy weights, yeah. Is that so hard to believe? No, sure. That's completely believable. Yeah. Right. Is Jane coming over? She's supposed to. Are you gonna finish that? Thank you. I'm gonna grab one on the way out, is that cool? Hello? Hello? Rich, is it?
Are you out of toilet paper again? Because I told you last time. Shut up, Q, I need you to get over here right now. It's an emergency. Q. All right, I'm on my way. It'll be about an hour, though. Okay, okay, that, that, that's fine. Just, just hurry up. Okay. Mom, I need the car! Uh, hi, officer. Can I help you? We received a call about some sort of disturbance. I... It's just me here. I was maybe having the TV on a little loud. Well, someone reported hearing a woman screaming. A woman's... No, I was not here. Sorry to disappoint. You mind if I take a look around? Uh, sure. Can I see a warrant? Well, a warrant will be a problem with your current circumstances. Or... I can give your parole officer a call. Wait for him to come down. No need. Come on in. Woman needs for you to wait right here while I check around. OK, feel free. It's not like I'm going anywhere, right? So uh, you know Jim Good? Excuse me? Jim, my parole officer. He's got yay tall, I guess. I'll speak with you in a moment. Why don't you go ahead and relax, all right? I mean, you should look him up after this, though. He's a big guy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to report this to uh, Jim in oh, the morning. Uh, I got set that up. Girl, this is, you know, whatever mix up right after me. Is there a reason why this is locked? Uh, I just don't go out there much, you know. It's not exactly like I can go on a drive through the city. But it looks like everything's checking out. You just make sure we don't get another call to come down here, you understand? Yeah, I will keep the television way down. Uh, there's just a lot of elderly and retired kind of people that live around here, you know? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Actually, funny story, the guy across the way there, he recorded every single time that a baseball or a frisbee landed on his lawn for 10 years. Then he took the kid's dad to court. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, little baseballs and plastic evidence bags? You take care of yourself, buddy. You as well, officer. Have a good night. Help me. What the hell happened? I just found her like that. Tell me what I should do. What do I look like, Mr. Wolf? I don't know how to move a body. But Jimmy's gonna be here in the morning. Okay? And Rich is gonna find out sooner or later that the cops didn't find anything. Yeah, but what are we supposed to do? We need to move her. And how do you propose we do that? It's not like you can just go for a drive. No, but you can. Man, I drove my mom's car here. There's no way. There's no way. Then just take mine. Okay, we need to get her somewhere else until we can get everything cleaned up. Peter, you're my best friend, but there's no way in hell I'm driving your car, or anyone's car for that matter, with a body in the trunk. It's not gonna happen. Fine, then we need to get everything cleaned up now. Okay, like two hours ago, now. Are you coming? Yeah, just, uh, just give me a minute. Hey, 
I can't do this by myself. Hey. Hey. She's really gone. Peter. Hey, 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 look at me. Look at me. Hey. Peter. It's not your fault. Okay, none of this is your fault. Can't blame yourself. All right? You have nothing to do with this. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go take this to the wash. You know, when you got busted or whatever, I was gonna turn myself in. What? Yeah, I was gonna call you and tell you to give them my name. Why? Well, I mean, after what happened to you, I couldn't sleep at night. You know, and you would've got off easier, right? So what, uh, what changed your mind? <laughs> Rich threatened to cut my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you didn't anyways. Me too. Sun's coming up. You hear anything from him? Uh -huh. Not yet. I just don't think he's done yet. Knowing him? Nah. Dude, come here, watch. Right here. He's in the drawer by the sink. There's so many drawers here. He's in the lower drawer by the sink. Dude, it's Jason. Well, don't answer it. He knows I'm here. So, what I miss? Cops didn't find her. Of course they didn't. You gonna call them again? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should just go out of town. You know, you like, go get the boat and go out by the water. We're not going anywhere. Besides, I'm not done yet. I don't think that this is Rich's next move. Okay, Peter, you're an idiot. If you think Rich doesn't know, he's here right now. For all we know, he's out there making things worse. Okay, how do we know he didn't break it in the first place? <sighs> I think you've been watching too much Breaking Bad. 
Coming from the guy who has his dead girlfriend in the trunk of his car. I told you to stay away from her, didn't I? Look. Rich did this, not me. Yeah, Rich, all right? You're the one that made the first move. You couldn't leave her alone or keep it in your pants long enough. The only reason she's in a pool of her own blood... Right? Same old cue, huh? Yeah. What's up? What? A guy can't take a leak? Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Everything okay? My zipper? Yeah. I got another job in half an hour. I gotta be gone. Yeah, yeah. Don't even keep you. Thank you. Wouldn't believe me if I told you. It was just a misunderstanding. Of course it was. Uh, so why did the 911 call say that there were gunshots? There was no gunshots. I swear, I assure you. Done, okay? What kind of a strange accusation, don't you think? It, 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 James X, you guys crazy? It, 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 it's fine, I swear. What? What? Is this some sort of like silence to intimidate anything? Is everything all right? Yes! Yes! Everything's fine. It's just, like you said, it's a long night. Is the girlfriend around? Jane. Hey, right. Jane. No, she's not around. Oh, any, any idea when she might be around? I, I'd, I'd like to get her stuff. You know, actually, she told me she's gonna be busy all day. I probably won't even see her. But I'll let her know you want to talk. Well, that's criminal talk for screw you, pig. I ain't telling you shit. But uh, you've got your code as long as you wrap it up real nice. And I don't think you're an asshole. It's all good, right? Jim, what do you want? Th there's nothing here to check out, there's nothing to investigate. Okay? Leave it alone. Let's move on. It's my job not to leave it alone. You are a babysitter, Jim! That is your job. I appreciate you being worried about my feelings and all, but I don't appreciate being jerked around. So this is how this is gonna go. I'm gonna go outside and talk to some of the neighbors and see if I can get some concrete information on what's been going on. In the meantime, you're gonna call Jane and get me a time today that I can talk to her face to face. Everything adds up, we all go home and sleep tonight and put this whole mess behind us. If not, this is gonna be a whole nother conversation entirely. Do you understand? 
Do you understand me? Yes, officer. Good. How's it looking? Great. He's freaking out. Why? I don't know. He's looking for something. What is he looking for? Can't tell. But hey, that um, that parole dude, he's there too. Hello, Rich. If you're watching this, that means that you've done something very bad. You've done a lot of bad things, haven't you? You know, it never sat right with me what you did to Peter. You knew the plan and you still went out of your way to have him fall for more than his fair share. So, somewhere in Peter's house, I have hidden evidence that incriminates you for no less than six felonies. So, in other words, if you stick the cops on Peter, you're going down too. I really did love you once. It's just too bad that the man that I loved was swallowed by his own greed. You deserve every bit of what is coming to you. Get up. Huh? Yep. She's gone. Peter, we already... No, 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 no. She's not in the trunk. What do you mean? She... I mean, she's gone. I mean, she is not in the trunk. I, the only trunk she's ever been in in her entire life. Her physical location is no longer that of the trunk. Okay, well, first of all, let's just calm down. No, 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 no. Dude, Jim came over, okay? He knows something's up. I'm so scared. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. Just, uh, just give me a couple minutes and I'll see what I can figure out. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, yeah, coffee, please, and okay. keep them coming. All right, how do you take it? Uh, one fourth cup of two percent milk, three tablespoons of sugar, and uh, how big are your mugs here? Um, maybe. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All That's not bad, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm just getting warmed up. Is is that issue 42? What? <clears throat> is is that 42? Like issue 42? I mean, I haven't read it or anything yet, but the cliffhanger oh. in 41 is. I mean, my mind is blown. I, yeah. yeah um, I mean, they're did, they're amazing. Did, did you want to read it? Like now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now? Yeah. Oh my god. Are you? Oh my god. I I'm gonna give it right back to you. Like, it'll be like 30 seconds. Like, not even. I, I, thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'll be right
Yeah, that cute little neighbor of yours. He's taking your boy out. He might just have a shot at some strange. Nice and cool in here, Peter. Jay did a bang up job on your AC, huh? You know, Peter, I don't like the way things ended between you and me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you got, you got deprived. You got deprived of a raw, authentic prison experience. I mean, here you're just, you're stuck in limbo, you know? I mean, you're in limbo, uh, just, but in prison, in prison, you would get to feel an overweight murderer cutting you up at night and tell you just how special you really are. You murdered the woman that you love. Yeah. For what? <laughs> Peter, there's something different about me. Something that's just, it just might go off. Oh! <laughs> well, but, listen, here's the difference between you and me, okay? I don't care about anything. But I care about one thing. I care about one thing. One thing all night. You know what that is, Peter? Respect. You're a psychopath. I'm an elitist. See, emotions for people like you, people who are worthless, a waste of space, a waste of my air. <sighs> Wade. Wade. What? Follow the corpse's smell and you'll find Jay, all right? That's funny, Rich. I don't smell anything, do you? Wait. Check the garage. Clean it out. I'm sure Peter, Peter, do you mind? I can mind. Yeah, no, go ahead, Wade. Have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. I don't know what to do about this kid anymore. He called me a babysitter. Oh, honey bun has to deal with all that trash, those dirty, nasty delinquents. I know it'll make you feel better. Mm. I don't know what I'd do without your fruitcake. Nothing, but I did find these. What? Did you actually think we were stupid enough to use guns? I mean, have you seen this neighborhood? Where is she? Maybe he took her somewhere else. Shut up, Johnny. We saw everything. Wait, what? Why don't we just kill him? No. Wait, how did you see everything? What are you talking Once he's about? he's in prison, Nicole, what's his face? Um... Sparky. Sparky, yeah. No, how did you see everything? What? Speak up again! Go ahead. Now, if I blast your dick off, it's gonna take you exactly 37 minutes to bleed out. That is as long as you don't go into shock. Now, if you go into shock, I have an adrenaline needle in the car. It's usually used for 300 pound animals, but I think we'll get the desired effect. Won't we, wait? <laughs> what? Did you say something? That's what I thought. Wade, tell Peter here about his soon to be bunk mate, Sparky. We'll do, boss. So we've talked to Lisa yet. Can we not talk about that right now? I don't want to wait anymore, James. No more waiting. It's just not the right time yet. Yesterday was the right time, and the day before that, and the day before that. Listen, she's my wife, and I'll know when the right time presents itself. It's either me or her. Oh, come on. You've been saying that all week. But this time I'm serious. Now choose. Or just leave. No. no. Don't go, James Taylor. You told me to leave. I don't want you to go. I just don't want anyone else to have your button. 
All right, I'll talk to her tonight. Mm. Promise? Promise. Pinky? Jesus. Okay. Fine, no pinky. But I'll make some mimosas and then you'll go. You know I can't drink on the job. I'm making them anyway. I'm not drinking them. Yes, you are. Everybody smokes in prison. It's like this unspoken roar or something. They actually make lighters out of battery and gum wrappers. Crazy, I know. Don't ask me how they do it. So Sparky asks this guy one day for a gum wrapper. The guy tells him to kiss his ass. So as Sparky does, he grabs the guy, knocks him out, and takes a wrapper. End of story, right? He got what he wanted? Nope. <laughs> he lights the dude on fire. Right, Johnny? <laughs> no, but the best part is, he takes a cigarette and lights it off the dude's burning body. <laughs> Hence the name, Sparky. So you might want to keep a bucket of water at night, huh? killed your girlfriend, your parole officer found her body, and you killed him too. When next, boss? Johnny. Johnny! She hid stuff in the house. Find her, find it. What the hell are you talking about? You killed her, she is dead. It's You are insane! Wait, shut him up. I don't want him waking up the neighbors. Peter, this has got to be the greatest purchase you've ever made. Get rid of that. Yeah, Jason, I need you here. I don't give a shit. Oh, Jason. You know, he was right. Good thing the AC mysteriously broke, right? <laughs> Peter, wake up. This isn't that time. Listen. Tell me what she's hidden here. Tell me where she is, and I'll let you live. You'll die in jail, but I'll let you live. You know, I would say if you talk, I'll let you live. Wanting to put that little run out of his misery for quite some time. Natural selection at its best. Hey, Rich. I know how much you hate my little hobby, but I'm going to force you to watch one more of my home movies. 
I know it's a small consolation for all the torture you've put everyone in your life through. But you're going down now, honey. There's no way out of it this time. You can't even find me. And your trigger finger could tell the difference. Yeah, it is a good thing. For you, Jason. You call me here, and you point whatever that thing is in my face, and now you're giving me shit. It's a crossbow. Can you say a crossbow? Look, I got better things to do than listen to the usual from you, all right? Jason, follow me. Johnny, look what I found. Let's string him up like a pinata and hit until the information comes out. Uh, came to rescue you? Yourself together, man. Look like a bitch. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Grab Q. Tie him up. Great plan. Charge. That always works. Rich, this is my replacement. Really? What'd you find out? Craigslist. Hey, you're the one that set up the network for the security cameras, right? Yeah, my grandmother could do a better job than that, and she doesn't even know how to turn her computer on. Get out of here. Yes. Oh. Oh. Mm. What's your game, cue ball? Mm -hmm. Speak up. It said it's not my game. What did he do? What did he do? That's it. I can't believe you're here. I mean, at first I thought, I thought this all had to be a bad dream or something. 
that nothing was okay. And you're here. Why didn't you tell me? Peter, we have everything under control. We had to make sure that Rich bought it and that you were protected from all of this. Protected? Well, you were already on parole. There was no way you could survive what Rich had in store for you. I had to do something. And Q offered to help, and I was able to pay off Jason. But I had to push Rich's buttons in just the right way. And I couldn't risk you getting in the way. So you did all this for me? I guess we're even now. Huh? Well, I, OK, I helped quite a bit. We both did you know, a good portion of the work. Jane did some of the stuff. I did some of the stuff. It's not like we got anything to worry about now. I had this huge long list of crimes that I was going to put on him anyway. With the security footage, we got Rich killing Jim after Jim killed Wade. And then Jane comes in and saves both of us, which was pretty awesome. Is anybody else shaking? I mean, I feel like I'm moving fast forward, but also frozen at the same time. So what does this all mean? I'm, I'm so sorry. I meant to warn you. It just, it happened sooner than I thought it would. And Rich took Jason's word that I was dead. And he slipped me a sedative. We had to act fast. I'm fine. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> and Rich practically incriminated himself with all the cameras. Everything is going to be OK. I got to make a phone call. Yes, 911. Uh, I need the police, cops, something. Uh, yeah, we have an incident that I'd like to report. Um, yeah, this is Q. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah.
です。